Hey, what's happening guys? My name's James and I'm out hiking the Great Southwest Trail, which is a 250 kilometer trail, which commences in Portland and finishes in Portland. So 250 kilometer, so it's a 250 kilometer um, circuit, which is a little bit unusual, but I've basically kicked off the first portion of this trail and I wanted to show you guys my kit and basically my, my loadout for this trip. Um, but I wanted to do it in a more interesting way than just putting it all on the carpet and saying, this is my full kit. I wanted to show you how this kit looks like. Um, I wanted to show you, so I wanted to show you what, I just realized my shirt's inside out. <laughs> All right, that's better. So, yeah, I wanted to show you my, my full kit and what it looks like in use at camp. And I guess that gives you a better idea about what a um, ultralight kit can look like and what it, how it kind of functions in a campsite. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna show you my um, tent and sleep system. I'm gonna show you my how I filter my water, my water filter, filtration system. I'm going to show you my electronics and I'm going to show you guys my cook set. So, yeah, very excited to show you. We're going to kick it off with the cook set. So, we'll go for a walk over here. I've got my cook set set up, ready to go. Mainly for this video, but also because it's helpful to have. So, I've just got a backcountry dehydrated meal for tonight. I've got the Avenue ultralight titanium one liter pasta pot, which is both my pot and bowl. Um, I've actually got a stove from 360 degrees, which is a brand I've never heard of, never researched. I just needed a stove because my BRS ultralight titanium camp stove actually broke because it was just too flimsy. So I bought this thing. This thing's awesome, but I will at some point be downsizing or swapping out the way I do um, my cook set. I've just got a $1 spork from Sea to Summit and I find it's really good. Here's a review above and there's a review for that as well if you guys want to check it out. So come over this way guys and I'm going to show you my tent setup and my sleep system. Alright so moving over to my tent. So, we have here, guys, the Mountain Laurel Designs Super Mid Tent. And if you want a review of that tent, then check out the link above. And I'm gonna go inside and show you guys my sleep system. So keep in mind, guys, this tent is not pitched to its maximum peak. That's why it looks a little bit flat in some areas. And a little bit out of whack in some, some ways. So guys, for my quilt, I've got the Enlightened Equipment Revelation Down Custom in a pine green. And I've got a citrus orange for inside. For my pillow, I'm using my down jacket. I simply just fold it up like a pillow, tie the arms up, and I find that that just works really well for me. Um, I don't like blow up pillows, it's something I've learned. I love using my down jacket. Um, for my sleeping pad, I've got the large Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light. And I've done a full review on that particular pad. Also the regular sized pad and the small pad and I've also got here guys my Kindle Paperwhite which is super awesome this one's actually waterproof um, I just purchased this for this trip for my pack guys I've got the Z-Pax Arc Blast I've got all of my dehydrated food in the bottom of the pack everything else simply gets stuffed in there I've got a whistle a microfiber towel and my Garmin InReach Mini just in case anything goes wrong. 
So that's my shelter and sleep system, guys. I'm going to show you my water filter and also some of the electronics. So for my water filtration system, I've got the Knock Outdoors 3 litre water bladder. I've got a review on that product. Look at it in the link above. And I've just got a pump and I've got the VersaFlow. And for my electronics guys, I've got the Goal Zero Venture 70 and the Goal Zero Nomad 7. I probably should have got the bigger, the Nomad 14, but I wanted to save on weight. But I think I will upgrade to the Nomad 14, although it is winter and this thing will charge up much better during the summer. This is just so hot in Australia. All right guys, that's my complete um, ultralight system. And they're kind of the bare bone essentials. I didn't want to do the whole layout kit thing. I've actually done one of those um, for my family multi-day hike. Check that in the link above. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed seeing um, a system out in the open, seeing how it all works. And if you enjoyed that, guys, please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm kind of offline a little bit because I am doing this end-to-end -end hike. I will upload this tonight. Um, it won't have all of my template stuff on it, so it'll be a bit of a scrap to get a video. Um, so you probably won't get a video from me for the next two weeks. Um, but I will be back showing off this amazing trail, guys. And as always, have a great day.